Hello guys, this is H from H Tutorials 101 and welcome to this tutorial um, showing you how to create uh, HDR photos uh, manually. So first off, uh, I have these three photos over here. Uh, one shot at uh, positive two, the other shot at zero, and the last one shot at negative one exposures. Uh, you could basically do this with uh, any amount of photos, but for now I'm just going to use the random three that uh, the typical HDR would use. So that's just the positive two, the zero, and the negative one. Now, Photomatix Pro is the basically the application that we're going to be using uh, to uh, export our HDR image. Uh, you can go ahead and download this product by visiting the link below. They even have plugins for Lightroom 4 and Aperture 3, uh, so you can go ahead and download those. Uh, if you don't have any of these applications, you can just go ahead and download the product standalone and just drag in your images and do it um, using their interface but I usually use Lightroom and Aperture for my images so I'm gonna go ahead and just use the uh, plugin provided so once you've selected all your photos you wanna go ahead uh, like I said file export uh, with preset and uh, under Photomatix Pro and then you wanna go ahead just leave everything left and just click on export and uh, you can see a little exporting uh, indicator on the top. Done, it will generate and align your photos. And this is the final product. Now, uh, there have been some reports that some of the images might have noise in them. So if you do, all you have to do is just go ahead and uh, head into Lightroom and uh, basically use the denoise effect. Uh, now basically, let me go ahead and show you the three images I've used. So this is the before, basically. So I've had the positive two, the zero, and the negative one. And uh, so that's, again, the positive two. And once again, you could see that it's combined all of these together to create one HDR photo uh, based on these three exposures. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, some reports have been that you might have some noise. So if you do, just go ahead and import it back to Lightroom. Or uh, you could use the um, the denoise uh, brush in Aperture 3 if you have that as well. If you don't, then you could try and finding some other application uh, that you could basically download and basically remove the effect. So um, that's it for this video. Uh, be sure to rate, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or any requests for any other videos. And uh, before I leave, I just want to give a quick shout out to the 500 subscriber giveaway uh, winner. Uh, his Twitter uh, is jerji to win and his uh, I think it was his YouTube channel was I ain't no gypsy and I think I think uh, he does those um, Modern Warfare 3 videos so if you're interested in those you can go ahead and check uh, his channel or his Twitter and uh, once again congratulations to you and uh, I hope you're enjoying uh, Final Cut and uh, bring your uh, your life to work basically so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't uh, like I said comment rate and uh, yeah I guess that's it thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one